morning guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new it's currently 7 44 a.m and i am at the gym about to go in and work out upper body Just got finished and I burned over 300 calories, which is really, really, really good for my arm workout because I just struggle to reach 300 calories, which is always like my goal, but I never really get there with upper body or arms. I only ever reach that with legs because it just takes so much for me to burn a lot of calories. Um, but my workout was an hour long. I did 303 active calories and, oops, it's not loading, 372 total calories. Super proud of that. So today is off to a good start. Just made my coffee. I'm gonna go jump in the shower. I'm not washing my hair, so it'll be a nice quick shower. And then we're going to edit the vlog that I am so delayed on editing, but it's a really good productive vlog that I made last week. I'm trying to figure out which foundation is gonna work and I just did it two times. So I'm hoping third time is gonna be the charm. I just wiped everything off again, put my hydration cream on with SPF in it. And now I'm using this hydrating serum, which I've been putting underneath my makeup. And I really like it. So, so far I have tried this Dewy and Smooth Maybelline Fit Me. Didn't work. I tried It Cosmetics in Your Skin But Better Foundation, this one. Both of these are shades that I've used in the past that are lighter shades. And then also this Beauty Blender one. But I already, I didn't have to try that on my face. I could just tell it was too dark. So we're gonna try this one, which I just took out of the box. This is like my old OG one that I actually bought like a month ago from Sephora and I forgot to return it, but it actually kind of works out that I bought the lighter version because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be done spray tanning. I might spray tan like one or two more times, but I usually cancel my membership during like the fall and winter and then I rejoin my spray tan membership like during the spring and summer because that's when I care about being more tan you know but I don't mind like being paler during the cooler months and I'm kind of like starting to just accept that it's that time still feel like this might be a little too dark but I don't know let's see it's all I have right now honestly so this used to be like my skin tone one but it looks a little darker Maybe I'm paler, I don't know. Or maybe I just need to blend it in. Might be a little bit too dark, 
but honestly I feel like that's as close as I'm gonna get because I have a whole fresh bottle of it and I just ordered new pumps on Amazon fun fact if you use this foundation you have to always pay it for ten dollars extra to get the pump but you can buy them on Amazon too for like six bucks so I always just buy the pumps on Amazon I could clean out the ones I already have but I like to start a fresh bottle with a fresh pump it just feels right Okay, I'm gonna fill in my brows. By the way, my eyebrow touch-up appointment for microblading is October, like the first or early second week of October. So I'm really, really excited for that because I'm gonna have her thicken all of this up more. But it has been really nice because the filling in process for my eyebrows has literally just been me filling in the front. We are going to conceal the bags. Mascara, I'm using this Rare Beauty mascara and I really like it. I used it yesterday and I was very, very impressed with it yesterday too. It just really lengthens your eyelashes, especially for me who has little baby eyelashes that are not very long at all. Good, those eyelashes popping. This is the finished makeup for today. later and I'm watching this guy run past in the rain <laughs> like I just did except it's raining worse now anyway I took all the packages to the post office and I also just got my nails filled I just went back to this OPI funny bunny color shockingly I went back to shorter not like super short like my little nubs but just like shorter in general because I don't know the long nails were kind of getting on my nerves to be honest going into Target still raining it's really killing my mood right now. Back home, I was supposed to go to the co-working space and it did not stop raining and I did not want to go in there. It really kind of killed my mood, but I'm not gonna let it just like prevent me from having a productive day. I'm still gonna get stuff done at home. I just like had the desire to come home because it was pouring down rain. Anyway, I got my Amazon package in, so here's the little pumps I was telling you guys about. And then the other thing I ordered are these, basically these are like pimple patches that are hydrocolloidal, so they're supposed to like lift up the pimple and like pull out whatever's inside of it so that you don't have to pop it, which is a bad habit of mine. I told you guys I've been having like skin issues lately. So I got these, I'm really hoping they're gonna help. Also got my period stuff from Target and I got my doll. I have not used this stuff since I was like a teenager, but I don't know, I always feel like it does nothing more for me than ibuprofen, but this does have some other ingredients in it. it has caffeine and then some other ingredient, an antihistamine. Why would it have an antihistamine? That's interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna try it because I have nothing to lose here. The cramps suck. And then I also got this giant tub of Tampons, my sister told me this brand is really good. I also got a PR package in from CVS. I've never received PR from them, but this was super excited. It's for their Epic Beauty event. So it looks like it's just a bunch of products from CVS. We have Night Recovery Cream, Radiance Lavender Essential Oil, Color Foil Nail Makeup, interesting. Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Volume Mascara. Garnier Brightening Serum Cream. This is 24 hour moisture serum and sunscreen. Okay, I literally love anything with sunscreen, so that's awesome. Strictly Curls Curl Defining Lotion by Mark Anthony. Okay, this is definitely not a product for me because I don't have curly hair. I have frizzy wavy hair, but 
My sister's girlfriend, Jennifer, has super curly hair, so she would probably love this. Kristen S. Signature Shampoo. I'm very excited to try this because I use the Kristen S. Blow Dry Mist, Detangler, and their pomade, so I already love a lot of their products. And we got the CVS Gentle Skin Cleanser. Hair, skin, and nail jelly beans. What? That's pretty cool. They're literal jelly beans. I definitely thought these were like the gummy ones. I didn't know they made jelly beans. That's pretty cool. And then the Arc Teeth Whitening Pen. This is actually really exciting because I've been seeing this brand on TikTok a lot. And I'm always looking for ways to whiten my teeth because I drink so much coffee. So I'll be excited to try this. And then it looks like there's a palette under here. Okay, this is the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. It has a lot of really cool colors. They're all like super, super bright and colorful. So thank you so much, CVS. A super exciting package to get lots of new stuff to try. I can't wait. Okay, I am not kidding when I tell you this stuff is worth the hype. I didn't want to wait. I went brush my teeth and I immediately put this on. And I already use a whitening toothpaste. I know they have a whitening toothpaste, which I'm now probably going to get because look at my teeth. I hope that you can see a difference. It really whitened my teeth. Let me come closer to the window. I should have did it before and after, but I was like, oh, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. They look pretty white. And this is just like first application. What I like about this is it's just a little pen. It's meant to like take with you on the go. So you don't have to rinse it off or anything. You just put it on and then you let it sit, you know, and let it work its magic. So I really like it. I feel like I always get yellowing around my teeth like right after I drink coffee. So this is just great for on the go because I get super self-conscious about my teeth because I'm a coffee drinker and I just don't want my teeth to be yellow. Okay, Boohoo was kind enough to gift me some new clothes for fall and I want to show you guys everything I got. I'll link it in the description. But the first thing is this really cute blouse. It's like such a pretty mustardy orange color, just like so perfect for fall. And it's like really ruffly. It has balloon sleeves and they just like are three quarters long. And it ties right here. I'm just wearing it with leggings right now. Obviously this isn't how I would actually wear it. Probably wear it with like black pants or something if I wanted to dress it up, but this would be really cute to wear if you work in an office or if you're like a teacher or any kind of event that you just want to dress up a little bit more. Next thing is this green pullover with the black zipper. I am obsessed with this so much. It's so comfortable. This is absolutely the kind of thing I would wear with sweatpants or leggings. And I just feel like it looks a little more dressed up than just like a plain sweatshirt because this little zipper, I don't know. It's very, very cute. Could also wear this over a sports bra and like wear it to the gym in the morning. This dark green button up is definitely gonna be a staple piece for the fall because it's like really lightweight. It's a good transitional piece, but not only can you wear this just like this with like jeans or something, but because it has that oversized fit, you can leave some of these unbuttoned and you can like do a knot right here and you know, kind of cinch it with some jeans. And then I also really like oversized button ups for just layering. So just kind of wearing it over top of like a crop top or something, even with just leggings like this would be like a really cute casual outfit, throw on some Vans or something. So many ways you can style these. So I actually also got this in white. Here is what the white one looks like. So same thing, oversized in white. Okay, these faux leather shorts might be my favorite thing from this entire little haul. These are so cute and they're gonna be really perfect for the fall to wear with like sweaters and stuff. Or honestly anything, even this green top, which is really cute. I got this in this like sage green color and black and it just has these little circle buttons. It's kind of like something that you can make look edgy like with these and like some boots or something, but then you could also wear it with some pants and it could be just like something casual for work. Here's the next top, it's the same one in black and then I literally just like flip flopped colors. So now I'm wearing green on bottom, black on top. But these shorts are really, really cute. They're just like an army green denim short and they're high rise, very comfortable. And they actually do kind of go with this top, even though this is a little more dressier. I feel like it like tones it down a little bit. And for the last thing we have this baby doll dress. This is so unlike anything else I own. It's actually a denim material. You would not expect this to be denim, but it's really, really cute. Super flowy and ruffly. And I feel like this would be a really cute dress to wear for like engagement photos or something. I don't know, it kind of makes me feel like I might wear this for that. Super fun and feminine. I like the like sleeves on it as well. Definitely needs to be steep. And that is everything I got. So I'll leave all the links in the description. And thank you again, Boohoo, for gifting me some new stuff. Much later now, and I'm about to make dinner, but I forgot to show you guys one other thing. Well, two other things that I got when I was at Target. And it is apple cider and Prosecco. 
And if you guys have been around for a while, you remember me making these drinks last year with like either Prosecco or champagne. I just prefer Prosecco because it's a little less sweet, but I'm basically about to make myself an apple cider mimosa and it's going to be delicious. And I'm gonna make dinner. Chad is working late tonight. He's teaching a CPR class and it's kind of far away. So he's not gonna get home for a little while. So I'm gonna make dinner so it's ready for him when he gets home because I am future wife material, not focusing on my ring. So I'm gonna chop up some garlic and onion and saute it and I'm making spaghetti tonight. Chad and I finished eating dinner and tonight we're gonna finish up the 9-11 like documentary that's on Netflix. It's really, really good and super informational because I remember 9-11 when I was, I guess I was in kindergarten, kindergarten, maybe first grade. And I remember getting pulled out of school that day cause this was back when I lived in Delaware and it was absolutely insane we got like let out of school immediately and our parents had to come get us and i just remember like my mom and my grandma freaking out and crying and i had no idea like why but i just knew something bad had happened so being at the age i am now where i can actually understand you know better it, it's just like really interesting to watch this documentary so highly recommend it it is really long though so we're gonna finish it up tonight but i am gonna end this vlog here so thank you guys so much for watching and if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video